Hey everybody, Don here. Well, today I got one of the first packages that I'm waiting for. And this is a, <laughs> a very large package. And I already opened it up to see what's inside and how. <laughs> Well, first off, there's a letter in there. And then, there's another package in here. And this one says, Build Tech Flex System. Yes. Build Tech was so kind to send me one. Sen seeing the problems that I'm having with that magnetic build system, that uh, bed system that's on the D9. And I've heard some pretty good things about uh, build tech system. I used the normal build tech on my one hall i3 way back then when I had it up and running so what do we have here flex plate system installation build tech flex plate installation system system installation and Oh, looks like there's a card inside and a sticker. I hope, so. I hope there's a sticker inside. Let me see. No, there's nothing else in there. So, here it is. This is the 300 and Four by three hundred and four size. Right, come on, come on, sticker. I want you to come up. Good too. Yes, that sticker came off really nice. And that stick and this sticker right here. Well. It's going to find a nice place on my laptop. Yeah. And there's a sticker in there too, I think. Oh, man. This is starting to look nice. There's that build tax system. You can see right there, there's build tech. This is the plate. That looks nice. <laughs> right underneath that plate. Uh-huh. I'm gonna have to stick this one onto the bed. We have two metal plates here. This here is the flex system, and I do think uh -huh. 
this has got all the magnets on it. So that means this one has to be glued onto the bed. I'm pretty sure. And this metal plate here. I can see some type of a scratch this on it and some kind of letters. When I look at it, it looks like the build tech is slightly etched into the plate. And let me see here. Yeah, it is a little bit flexible. I'm pretty sure this is the plate for the build tech. And it does have a plastic sheeting on it so that nothing can happen, which is good. So that means I'm going to have a little bit of work to do. But one thing is for sure, I will definitely read the instructions first before I put this on. And this will be something that I would love to test out. So, I'm going to read the instructions, then I'll get back to you. So, I've been looking at the informa information that was provided. Oh, it's really interesting. That's 304 by 304. <laughs> and when I take a look at my plate, that I have on here. That thing is 325 by 325. Which means I can definitely print the full 300 by 300 and there's still enough room on there. <laughs> For the print head to move around, move around. But uh, yeah, in the meantime, uh, got a couple more packages. Postman was here. We need to take a look and see what's coming. Oh, I love these plastic bags. They are a pain to open. Yeah, but it looks like this is going to be more of a mailbag today. And what do we have in here? Oh, wow. Oh, this is really amazing. New blower fans. I think I ordered these things. Oh, God. It must have been eight weeks ago. Um, I hope there is a voltage information on here. Yeah, 24 volts. Those were the fans that I ordered originally for the one how D9 and after eight weeks they finally came this is amazing and 
Here's another package. Yep, this is an Amazon package. Okay. Just the question is what's inside? This is something that I ordered because I already have the tracking information from a very good friend in the UK. That's how we open it up, okay. Oh yes, oh yes. Those are the pulley wheels that I need for example, these two corner pieces right here those pulley wheels. Let me open up one of those bags. Get two of them out. And... Oh, might have to do a little bit of sanding there because that is a tight fit for some reason. I don't know why. Ah, okay. Ha! Huh, that's nice. There's indentations already in the prints that were made. So you can put these wheels in. It is hard to get them in there, but uh, yeah. You can put them in and then they will stay there until you get the screw already through it. Jesus! That's not easy. It's not even easy to get in there. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to have to use some brute force, I think, here. I don't know. <laughs> but then it looks like this. Then you have one here. Then you have the other one here. And then with your two M5 screws and hammer nuts, that'll be mounted in the corner. So that uh, this is the, you know, for your GT2 belts. Oh, but that's cool. That that's already there. Yeah, I already have uh, an email with tracking information for package that's coming from a very good friend, which means in the next couple of days I should be receiving a nice package from the UK. I should, yeah. I should be receiving two packages from the UK because uh, another good friend that printed the landing gear and uh, laser cannons for my um, Hornet, he sent that out Monday on its way to me. Let's see how long that would take to get here. <laughs> yes, but um, the flex plate installation system, getting back to that. You have uh, the ma magnetic mounting base. You have to put that on your printer. Verify that'll fit. Oh, that will definitely fit on there with about a centimeter, one and a half centimeter of, of air all around the plate. Uh, make sure your bed is free of debris and clean. Use the pull tab to remove the clear liner from the magnetic mounting base, exposing to the adhesive. Yeah, and then you glue it onto the onto the bed. After that's done, all you have to do is just uh, align your mounting plate over the top of the bed 
put that on it and then you clean your flex plate making sure it's clean free of debris remove the white adhesive liner from the back of the bill tack sheet and then you apply that to that but I've already tried putting the magnetic bed onto uh, what I have here. I'm going to turn the camera around so that you can see this. I'm going to do this one more time because I'm not sure right now if I'm going to really try and put that on here. I want to get in contact with the build tech and see if it's not possible that they can make a bigger one for me. But let me turn the camera around here so that you can see this here. This is my bed. This is the 300 by 300 by 300. No, by 400. Yeah, 300, 300, 400. Printing size. And the bed is 325 by 325, which means <laughs> this flex plate system is a bit small. But anyway, just to give you an idea. I mean, there's already a, a steel sheet plate that is glued on here, but um, if I try just to center that up and to the front a little bit, you can notice I got a centimeter here, a little bit more than a centimeter here. And about two centimeters back here. And if I center center this correctly, that's like that. And you only have about ah, uh, what is that? How thick is that magnetic bed here? That magnetic, magnetic bed is 2.4 uh, 2.2 That's 2.2 millimeters thick And then This is your flex plate And now under the real light A good lighting here I can see It already has an etching in it Build Tech flex plate, and it does have a plastic sheet on it to preserve the surface, I would say. But yeah, this thing is strong. You have to be very careful with it. And the thing snaps down. And then you only have, for example, a couple of corners here. So this might be, if you have a big print on here, this might be a problem trying to get that off, as I can see. But that's something that I do want to test out. And then, of course, after you have this on it, after you have this on, and I do believe you could have heard how this snapped down, uh, here is your build tack plate, uh, your surface, still got that covering for the adhesive on it. But that comes on here, just like that. Yeah, and that's how 
the system will be working. With my system here that I have on this one how D9, it's probably so that I might be able to print from edge to edge complete on this 300 here. But um, yeah, before I put this on and start experimenting with it, I do have uh, a project that I'm working on right now that has to be finished up, I would say, before I mount this on and uh, try it out. So I'm going to put this back in the protective covering that it has. Make sure that nothing happens to it. In the meantime, just like that. And as soon as as soon as I get this one printing project finished, it's going to take a couple more days for that. As soon as I get that finished, I will then uh, mount up the plate. I do have a lot of other stuff that I have to print. Still a couple more parts that I found uh, that I do need to print for the uh, Hypercube build. Especially a um, switch and covering for the power supply. I need to print that too. Oh man. A lot of things I didn't think of at that time. Printing a lot of parts, printing a lot of parts, you know. But yeah. Oh, and uh, in that package, in that package, don't even get one. I got two stickers. There's the normal sticker. And this one here, everything is in white. So I think that will look good on the duplicator nine when I stick that one on. <laughs> yes. And the business card. Now I must say, Mr. Gomez. <laughs> this is a really nice business card. It has something like BuildTech Surface already on it. I think you can, if I hold it just right in the lighting, then you can see how, how that looks. Yeah, that's their business card. It looks really nice. But, um, yeah. It's really going to be cool. I got the fans, the correct ones now, so that means I can uh, take the head back apart again and then put this blowing system back on it, but not with this, uh, not with this one with this one here the quieter and the cable is a lot shorter so I won't have to bundle up that cable or cut it that's something I don't want to do because uh, yeah who knows maybe I can use these on my hypercube the short ones I can use them on the D9 that's going to be a good thing yeah but anyway, I would like to say, until the next time, I wish you all happy printing. Have a nice day. And we'll see you all, I hope, Saturday when I do the live stream. And I'm pretty sure we'll see some of you tomorrow when Mike does his live stream. 
Yeah, but until then, take care, everybody.